Hi, this is Melanie from Hooked to the Left, and today we're going to take a look at this Divot Shelf Crochet Hook, and I'm going to let you know what I think about it. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining me today. Um, if you like things, all things crochet, yarn, or the combination of the two, then go ahead and go down below and hit that subscribe button so that you're reminded each time I come out with a brand new video. Today we're going to take a look at one of the Divot Shilp hooks. So the one that I got was the Purple Heart Wood, and it is a, actually it's a very beautiful hook. Let me go ahead and open it. It is a five and a half millimeter, and it is a Purple Heart Wooden hook. Now, right off the bat, um, which it's hard to see on this particular uh, table, but right off the bat, this is a gorgeous hook. It is a beautiful purple hook, um, and it is really well, I think that's embossed, I think, or I, I, I can't remember the correct word. Anyway, it's got, it's got it kind of carved in to the wood here, the size and the brand of hook. 5.5 millimeter and it does have the letter size on there for I has these two little kind of notches little, little stripes on the bottom here it is a very soft hook I do feel some sections here where it's just a little bit rough but it's not super bad now in the past I have looked at wooden hooks and I have not been a fan of it um, now the furls hook is a little bit different um, because it almost feels resin it's so smooth uh, and this one you can definitely feel that it's a wooden hook uh, but I think that it'll be smooth time will tell we're gonna do a little test you can tell with this this right here but uh, it is a very lightweight hook it is a uh, inline crochet hook the inline. okay so it is an inline hook and again, like I said, it is a beautiful, beautiful wood grain. But let's test it. And I tell you, with the shape of this, this is, I think, meant to be a, and, and maybe, maybe the, these, the divot was created first, but it is definitely a, an alternative to frills hooks, whereas a frills hook is going to be somewhere between, uh, I'd say, I think it's 24 is the lowest priced one. Um, up to, well, honestly, their highest priced one is in the hundreds, but that's your specialty ones. Um, I'd say if you're going for the more resin ones, you'd be looking in the 30s. This particular hook I did get off of Amazon for around $10. I will have it linked down below if you're interested in checking it out. Let's look at, look at this particular hook on its own merits. I want to see how this feels when crocheting, if it has any catch, because notoriously I've had problems with wooden hooks, but... Um, wooden is, you get what you pay for when it comes to wooden hooks. I'm going to be honest with you. Because this is a little bit cheaper than, say, like a Frolls hook. You're looking at a $10 hook here. Let's see how it feels. And it feels very smooth. I'm, I'm hoping that it doesn't catch. But let's see how it feels whenever I create something with it. So let's start with a simple chain. Okay, so while I'm, I'm tempted to, to stay down here at the bottom at the, um, at the, you know, to, to do right here the knife grip, I want to choke up on a little bit because I feel like I don't have the control over it. And I, I, I ran into this, uh, the same with the frills hook, but I want to choke up on it just a little bit. I still get this, this ergonomic part a little bit right here at this part. And the, here's something I am going to say. This hook is longer. So when I am using it, it is well outside of hitting me right here. I really, 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 I can't even, I, I cannot say how many reallys, but I really, really like that it's well past this. The, that is the only complaint I have about my clover hooks is that it, it hits right here as I'm working with it. But this, I, I'll, I choke up a little bit. I get a little bit off of the, um, the ergonomic part but that's okay because I am a knife grip so my thumb is resting right where it starts to widen and it keeps me from taking this chain too far down here okay now I will say it is a little bit uneven because I did start a further back so um, I probably got a little bit bigger than say a five millimeter but that's just a matter of getting used to 
using this type of hook. Now this hook does have a little bit of drag on it, so it's not as drag free as the furls hook or as an aluminum hook. And now let me just go ahead and start with a single crochet. I'm not being too fancy on this or being too exact where I um, grab this. I just will make sure that I don't. And and I and you guys, whenever I do, whenever anybody does this and, and kind of tests this on camera, the way that we're holding this is a little bit awkward. So I have to keep that in mind when I am creating items. Um, because it doesn't it doesn't feel exactly natural okay um, but yeah it, it feels like a great hook uh, it's not super smooth gliding as um, and I don't know why I went from a single crochet to a half double but you know that's just the way things go um, I do feel a little bit of drag I feel a little bit of pulling um, like it it's wants to catch but it is not catching nothing's catching um again it just goes back to the drag uh not not as super glide full as the armor hooks and and unfortunately <laughs> i still pulled out of there um it's not as as the glide isn't as smooth as the armor hooks but the trade-off on this is the length of this hook I'm telling you, I do, I do like this, and as I get it would to get into a longer project, this length, I, I cannot tell you how nice that length is, and it's not poking me right here all the time. I, I don't know if you guys, if that bothers you. Some people like that, that kind of stop to where your hooks don't go flying as you go, but it actually starts to irritate me if I'm doing having a long uh, session. So. This might end up being my go-to hook for blankets and stuff like that. While it's not as smooth, I still think if I get into my rhythm and get into my flow, I'll still it's, it'll move just as well. Um, I won't even notice that drag is bad. Uh, but because it doesn't hit me right here, I think that it would be more comfortable overall. Now, as far as the ergonomic is, it doesn't get as wide as a furls hook goes, but it is a little bit wider than say the ergonomic um, Susan Bates, Bates hook, which because this is an um, inline hook, I'd say that, that this is comparable. It's not as pointy as a Susan Bates hook. The wood is just beautiful. Um, and I do kind of like that I can feel the grain. It doesn't feel like a resin hook. Um, I like that. I, I think it does contribute a little bit to the drag. But overall, I'd say out of five stars, I would give this four and a half stars. And the only thing that I'm kicking a half star off for, and it would probably be more like a .25, is the drag on this. Because I am very particular about the drag. Some people aren't. But I think this is a great hook. Um, I would definitely recommend this to other crocheters. I highly recommend this as an alternative to the wooden furls hooks. It is a beautiful hook. And uh, yeah, why don't you go check it out? If you do check it out, or you have checked out a divot show hook, the, the wooden hooks, then let me know. Tell me what you think about them down below. If you have a favorite hook that you would like for me to check out, then go ahead and let me know that down below. I love trying out new hooks. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video enjoyable, please don't hesitate to go down below also and hit that like button. I really do appreciate it. It really does help get this video out to other people who could really use it, um, who like this type of content. And while you're down there, if you haven't yet, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell so that you're reminded each time I go live or put out a brand new video. I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Um, you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.